Thomas and the Best Kept Station Competition. It was a sunny morning on the island of Sodor. Work begins early on the railway, and at six o'clock, the yard was already busy. The engines' fires had been lit, and they were making steam ready for their journeys. Thomas was impatient. This was a special day. Today, the fat controller would be judging the best kept station competition, and Thomas had been chosen to take him to every station on the island of Sodor. Thomas was feeling very proud. Time to go! Smiled his driver. At last! At last! Puffed Thomas as he set off to find Annie and Clarabel and collect the fat controller from the platform. You're exactly on time. Well done," said the fat controller. "Thank you, sir," said Thomas excitedly, and with a wave of the guard's flag and a blow of the whistle, Thomas was off. When Thomas arrived at Ellsbridge Station, it looked magnificent. It was the first station to be judged. Bright bunting fluttered in the breeze, and colourful flowers decorated the window boxes. Thomas waited patiently while the fat controller wrote in his special competition notebook. Ellsbridge is beside a river, and Thomas was happy waiting there in the sunshine. He watched people fishing quietly with their rods, remembering the time when a fish had got into his tank and made his boiler ache. Weesh! Said Thomas as he raced down the hill with Annie and Clarabel towards the harbour station. Ahead, he could see the tall lighthouse and the fishing boats moored in the harbour. It was a busy morning. A farm plough had arrived from the mainland, but no trains were available to deliver it to the farm. Can we help? Thomas asked his driver. His driver spoke to the station master about Thomas's idea. What a good idea! The station master said. Well done, Thomas. We'll attach a high-sided truck to Clarabel, and you can deliver the plough today. Everyone agreed that Thomas had made a really useful suggestion. Outside Knapford, there was a long dark tunnel which some of the engines are afraid to use. Thomas doesn't like the dark, but he would never let the fat controller down. As he approached the tunnel, Thomas closed his eyes. I'll open them again when we reach the other side," he whispered to himself. But before he knew what was happening, there was a loud clang. The workman had left some tools on the track, and Thomas had to stop right in the middle of the dark tunnel while his driver climbed down from the cab to check the line with his lamp. Now I'm all alone," murmured Thomas. "No, you're not," chirped Annie and Clarabel indignantly. "We're right behind you." Thomas felt much better, knowing his friends were with him. Thomas was so glad to be out of the tunnel and in the sunshine again. He raced through the rolling farmland with Annie and Clarabel. The plough had to be delivered to Terence the tractor. It wasn't long before they heard the familiar rattle of Terence's engine behind the hedge. "Hello, Terence," called Thomas. "Hello, Thomas." Terence replied, "I'm getting a splendid new plough." "I know," said Thomas, and he told Terence and the farmer how he had collected the plough from the harbour. Terence and the farmer were very pleased. "Thank you," said the farmer. "As soon as the chickens have been fed, we will plough the fields." High up on the outlying quarry line, you will find a busy little tram engine called Toby. It can be quite lonely being so far away from the other engines, so Toby is always pleased to hear the peep peep of Thomas's whistle echoing around the hills. They found Toby outside his shed. Toby announced the fat controller, "I'd like to invite you to the final judging of the best kept station competition to be held at the main station this evening." "Oh, thank you, sir," said Toby. "Can Henrietta come too?" "Of course." Said the fat controller kindly, so Toby trundled away to tell Henrietta the exciting news. On their way to the last station, Thomas passed Bertie the bus waiting at the level crossing. Toot toot! He challenged cheekily. Can you guess what Bertie wanted? Thomas returned with Annie and Clarabel to the main station. 
Do you know which station will win the competition? Asked all the engines excitedly. Will it be Tidmouth? Asked Percy. Or Wellsworth? Interrupted Gordon. I don't know, replied Thomas. But every station has been visited. Those are the rules. The Fat Controller agreed. Every station has been given the chance to win. The rules made sure of that. All the engines understood. The platform was crowded as everyone gathered to hear the Fat Controller make his announcement. Mrs. Kindly had made tea for everyone, and a huge table was covered with plates of cakes and sandwiches. The Fat Controller stood on a box to announce the winner. After visiting every station on the island of Sodor with Thomas today, I realised that each station is special in its own way, and so it has been impossible to choose just one winner. The pride that has been taken in keeping every platform neat and attractive makes the island of Sodor a very special place to live in. Therefore, I propose to award a certificate to every station, because every station is a winner. Each station master came forward to shake hands with the fat controller. Photographs were taken by the local newspaper, and everyone agreed that they were lucky to have such a fine railway on such a beautiful island.